evening and welcome to 24 hours with an 18 month old. I can't believe I have an 18 month old. I've just picked up Rowan from his childminders. We are starting this vlog in the evening as opposed to the morning because one, why not shake things up a little bit? Two, this video is very kindly sponsored by Skin and Me, who I'll tell you a little bit more about later. And three, this is a Thursday, it's the end of my work week, and tomorrow is my day off with Rowan, and we've got some friends coming over for dinner, so this 24 hours will be nicely wrapped before they come over, and so I can enjoy my evening with my friends. Wouldn't that be nice? But for now, we are just heading home, but actually, I think we're gonna go to the playground because I'm filming this just before daylight savings is gonna occur, which means it's gonna get dark and be really dark on our way back from his childminders, which means no more playground. And also it's dry, it's not raining. It's been raining all day, but currently it is not raining. And Rowan is fully kitted out in rain gear and wet gear if the slides and swings are wet, so that's all good. And when we get to the point where we either take a turn to go home or take a turn to go to the playground. This child knows and he'll be pointing and going, this, this. He knows where he is and he knows where he wants to go. And you know what? Whilst it's still light and dry, I've got no problem with it. I've got no problem with it. I'm gonna take you on this journey for the next 24 hours with an 18 month old who still breastfeeds, still wakes up through the night and is currently trying to hand me his welly. Do you take your welly off, Rowan? Are you trying to take the other one off? Are you trying to put it back on? Uh oh! <laughs> there you go. Are you going to get your shoes on? Rowan loved playing in the puddles and he's currently in the hallway just like playing with the clip of his like wet rain overall things. Now that it's almost six o'clock and I'm just at home for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to change into loungewear. Comfy clothes time. <sighs> the bra is gonna come off and we're just gonna keep on the nursing vest. <sighs> oh, no more denim skirt. Tights. <sighs> I've changed to my vlog camera now. I was on my phone before, oh, but I've got no food to cook tonight, but I cooked plenty this week. So there is stuff in the freezer. So we don't need to worry about that for a while. <sighs> Comfy trousers. I bought these when I was pregnant. <laughs> Luckily, you can just tie it a bit tighter. You all right, mate? Can you do it? Have you done the clip yet? Do you want me to help you? <sighs> do I need a cardi? I feel a bit warm. I don't feel like I need a cardi this second. I'm coming. I know you want to play with the camera. Oh, that's not the lid for that. That's the lid. That's the lid for that bit. How are you doing today? We're good. What are you doing, bro? He saw his cup and wanted a hug, so I figured. <laughs> you can't get any out when the lid's on. You've got loads in your cup! Look, there's loads in there! Drink it without the lid on, mate. Come on. Mm, thank you. Rowan is obsessed with trains and we just put on YouTube videos of trains and he loves it. This doesn't look like a Mike Armstrong one. This is British trains, but there are a lot of North American train videos and this guy, Mike Armstrong, who puts together these compilations of trade videos. Oh my God. Maybe he even films them. I don't know, but thank you, Mike I Armstrong. I feel bad for him that he has to work with such a terrible train system. <laughs> what should we have for dinner from our freezer? Put katsu curry. Down. Some pork and rice, lamb and lentil curry. It does have rice.
Rowan's other obsession is the Nintendo Switch in Mario Kart and we set it for him so it's like on auto accelerate and the like cruise control or whatever so he basically just watches Mario Kart <laughs> but it's very funny. Dan can't wait to play video games with him. Oh, Oh no, he's turned everything off. <laughs> you need these on, bro. You're not ready. No! No! What? I got cold and busted out this one that hasn't been worn since I got the stains removed. And also I'm back on my phone because for better or worse, Rowan is much more used to my phone being around. When I tried to get out the vlog camera around him, I wouldn't let him play with it. That didn't go well. He almost broke the viewfinder, so not great. I'm, I'm eating one. We're eating, Ro. I've got some leftover katsu curry. Dan's got some leftover lamb curry. Rowan's got a mixture of it all, but immediately wanted to get down from the table. I am on bath time duty, whilst Dan tidies up in the kitchen in the living room. Where's Poppy gone? Where is she? Oh! Mommy! Mommy's a pet. Dan's got Rowan in the bedroom and I'm about to head in, but we have worked with a sleep consultant coach for babies and stuff recently. And so it is now time for like focused attention, bedtime, no phones. So we'll see you on the other side and hopefully this baby goes to sleep easily. I have been relieved of my duties. Bedtime has been particularly hard lately and so hence why I've been getting some extra help in and so now the plan is that I feed him but I'm not getting him down to sleep and so now Dan is currently on that although since we started doing this we still haven't had a successful like transfer so Dan can get him to sleep but then just not transferred into the bed so I then have to go in and do that. This feels very like Halloween-y like ooh. but from feeding one child to another, I need to give this leopard gecko some crickets. It's still a bit too early. She might come out later. All right, we're back on the vlog camera. While Stan is trying to get Rowan to sleep, I thought I would tell you about this video's sponsor, Skin and Me. So I love Skin and Me. I have worked with them loads and I have been using my daily dose of for over a year now. I actually just had the prompt to fill in my second six month like check-in consultation, but no changes, still working really well for me and obviously still breastfeeding, so no need to change my formula. Skin and Me is personalized skincare designed by dermatologists. I have always been so overwhelmed and confused by all of the skincare options that are out there and the many step routines. So when I discovered Skin and Me, I was so, so happy because it takes out so much of the guesswork. And it's super easy and convenient. You do an online consultation about your skin, your goals for your skin, and you can send them photos of your skin and obviously let them know if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or other medical conditions. And then they send you your personal formula in your daily doses. So see, it says for Hannah. Oh yeah. Hold on, before I show you how this works, let me wash my face. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Bam, face wash. So this is my daily doser. Bam. So it twists and clicks. Bam. And so that is exactly how much you need to use. Excellent. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and it's super convenient because they automatically send you your next daily doser before you run out. As you can see, I don't have much left of this one, but look what arrived today. A whole other one. Ah, look at that. Skin and Me is all about having a stripped back routine, which really suits me. In the evenings, I just wash my face, apply my Skin and Me, and then 
brush my teeth, go to the toilet whilst I let it sink in, get ready for bed, do all of that kind of stuff, and then moisturize. Super simple. If you want to try Skin and Me, you can get your first daily dosa for £4.99 when you use my code HANNAHW11Y and click the link in the description. Thank you so much to Skin and Me for sponsoring this video. Now, if Dan and Rowan still don't need me, I'm going to relax by myself on the sofa for 5-10 minutes. <laughs> what a joy. What a joy. Sometimes this exact moment is the only like five, 10 minutes that I get to myself in the day and I never know what to do with it. I often just end up playing games on my phone or like scrolling Instagram and not really like making <laughs> most of it. But right now, that's all I wanna do. Just wanna sit here and breathe and take in the quiet and play a game on my phone. <laughs> We've had hits and misses since trying new like bedtime routine stuff. Tonight was a miss. It is 10 to nine and he's now settled in bed and we're gonna watch Bake Off. And Dan's still wearing his fancy shirt from today. This is your wedding shirt. Yeah. Still haven't decided what color yet. This one? Yeah. I've decided. Well, why haven't you bought it yet then? Because if I want that before I'll pay the whole. That's true. Well, that's why I haven't bought it. There's no job. We we'll, might need to like strategize. When's the next time we're gonna have like grandparents down who can like take Rowan out for the day whilst we paint this wall? It's a big wall. It's a big wall. Right, bake off, let's do it. p.m. Rowan's already woken up once so we shall see how the rest of the night goes. I normally get anywhere between five minutes and two hours in this bed before his next wake up when I just join him in that bed because then I get more sleep instead of going back and forth. I'm going to write in my diary. I'm still doing my five-year diary and try and go to sleep and get as much sleep as possible but then I'll see you in the morning for like a full day of parenting. This is my temp drop. It like takes your temperature so you can do fertility tracking and stuff, but it does it overnight. So the whole point of it is like that it works for people who have broken sleep. Hey. And I posted about it on my Instagram stories when they first sent it to me. And a lot of people were really interested in hearing my thoughts on it. And I still haven't shared my thoughts on it, but I have had, I think three full menstrual cycles now since using this. So I do have like, thoughts i just haven't got around to sharing them yet so at some point follow me on instagram it'll happen there if you want to hear more i need to turn it on there we go green light flashing boop, boop. let me see there you go science what happened today i'm not sure oh i'll see you in the morning good morning part of this sleep thing and trying to make bedtimes easier means waking him up in the mornings and then like capping his nap if he sleeps too long and all of that. Obviously, yesterday didn't work because he still went to bed really late. Just had to wake him up. It's just gone seven and he's not happy about it. <laughs> My baby, we could have had a lion, but then you would have just been really awake this evening. But you were awake last night anyway. Honestly, what would you do? But yeah, I'm shattered as well. Like I could have done with a lion. It feels so counterintuitive to wake a perfectly sleeping baby but we have had some earlier bedtimes than before so we keep at it we keep at it he's so cuddly but yeah last night was a bit rough i think i got like 10 minutes of sleep in bed before i woke up and so i went to his bed and then honestly it felt like he was just on and off the boob for about four hours i don't actually remember like it's hard because i'm so half asleep and i'm just like whatever but at no point do i actually remember like him delatching and then me falling asleep without hit my boob in his mouth but I must have fallen asleep with my boob in his mouth at some point but then finally around like 4 30 he fell asleep unlatched and I was still awake and so I got out of bed and went to the toilet and got back into my and Dan's bed and yeah that lasted less than an hour <laughs> <laughs> We've come into our bedroom to have a feed. Mm. 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 <laughs>
<laughs> this is my scrapbook from when we were in Sri Lanka when I was 10 years old and this is the advent calendar that we made for Christmas on the beach and he's already broken off one of them. Can you count them all please Ro? Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. You did that. That was you, you little destructor. Well done, yes. That's where it goes. We might need to get some glue and stick it back on. That's for mummy. Thank you, thank you. You ripped the packet of Uno. Uno has been destroyed. Stomp around in your welly as mummy's going to get ready. Here you go. Okay, Google, what's the weather today? Today in London, there will be showers with a forecast high of 16 and a low of 12. Currently, it's 14 degrees and cloudy. It's going to rain today, Ro, so you get to wear your wellies. Outfit check. Got on denim skirt again and busted out my rainbow Lucy and Yak top that I haven't worn in months. Wow, wow, indeed, Ro Ro. Wow. <laughs> you want some toast? Rowan, what's this? Mamai. Yeah! Mamai! What? Oh, the toast is ready. It's coming, mate. Are we going to have some toast and marmite? Mum might, yeah. That's mummy's skirt. Yeah. Mummy's skirt. Oh, do you like the buttons on it? Ready? Mm. Do you want to go sit in your chair? Here you go, Robert. Toast? Toast. 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 Right, we made it out of the house and we are headed to the library. Gonna go meet some of my other mum friends there. There is a toddler, baby, kid class on. It's not our local library, so it's a bit of a walk, but I have got my audiobook ready to go. I've been a bit of a reading listening slump lately because I've been binging a lot of podcasts, but I've finally kind of gotten back into the audiobooks and I am listening to Shadows of Self, which is the second book in the second arc of the Mistborn series. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I wasn't a massive fan of the first book in that arc, but I loved the entirety of the first arc. Are you following? But yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck into that whilst we walk to the library. The library was super fun, 
they just brought out these massive boxes of toys at the end and it was absolute carnage but what was also carnage was then going for lunch with some of my mum friends trying to do lunch with toddlers oh my goodness very different to the days when we were on maternity leave and newborn babies would just be like sleeping and feeding in our arms whilst we tried to eat food one-handed very different but we are just heading home now because it is time for Rowan's nap and hopefully I get him down fairly quickly because it's almost one o'clock and part of this sleep thing is you know waking him up at two but we'll see how quickly he goes down because I would like a good hour to myself that would be nice but yeah I am pleasantly surprised but I also haven't been rained on yet it's so great today but haven't gone wet yet you want some more? Okay. Here you go. Here you go. I'm going home, it's that time. Your heartache, whatever you wish for, it's you. It is 20 past one. So do I wake him up in 40 minutes or do I wait until quarter past two? I might, I might wait until quarter past two because I need to prep for tonight. So I've got some friends coming over for dinner. And so this afternoon, Rowan and I are gonna go to the shops because I need to buy whatever it is that we're having for dinner. Need to figure that out. It might just be some nice bangers and mash and gravy. Like what could go wrong? It's that time of year. It's the weather for it. So that's gonna be what I fall back on. But also what I wanna make as part of my home stretch goals, if you watched that video, I'm gonna make an apple crumble. I figured we're having friends over, having a dinner party kind of. And so yeah, I wanna make an apple crumble. So I just need to make a list of everything that I need to buy from the shops and then do some relaxing, hopefully have a bit of time to relax. <laughs> okay, so I think for dinner, I'm gonna do this. This is one of the like, first HelloFresh recipes I ever used, like, I don't know, six years ago, but it's one of my favorites, hence why I've kept it. Um, and it involves lentils and we already have some lentils. So perfect, that's what we're gonna do. And it also feels kind of like hearty, autumn-y kind of vibes. And then it would go with like having an apple crumble for dessert. So there's that. I also just remembered that I put a wash on this morning and timed it so it would be done by the time we got home. So I need <laughs> to take down those clothes and then hang up those clothes. So it doesn't stop. Mm, 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 mm. Even though I do, I do enjoy nap time. I'm gonna listen to my book and hang up the washing. Actually, just woke up at five to two, so I guess that's good in terms of like trying to get him down earlier tonight. But mummy has no time just to chill out on the sofa and do whatever she wanted. We can FaceTime grandma. Grandma wanted to have a call with you today. I'm trying to get us out the house to go to the shops to get bits for dinner. And all he wants to do is play with shoes. No, not those ones. No. <laughs> shoes. Shoes, yeah. Shoes. You got mommy's sandals on. All right, managed to get us out of the flat and now to the shops. I've asked him if he wants to go to the playground, but he says no. So we'll go straight to the shop and maybe see if Rowan wants to help me make some apple crumble. Of course, as soon as I turned out the door on the way to the shops, he pointed in the direction of the playground. So that's where we are. And actually I'm glad for it because I've got more time to kill. God, the playground with an 18 month old is a whole other beast. Used to sit in the swing for like 20 minutes, interested in nothing else. And now he's in the swing for 20 seconds before he like spots some other kid's scooter and is like, bike, bike, and wants to go steal it or go up and down the climbing frame or slides, but it's all wet and slippery and he's not quite got the balance yet to let me like, let him roam all by himself. Oh boy, but now we're off to the shops. Dinner! <laughs> 
wait until Christmas to get in one of those like toddler towers but we might need to get in one now because he just loves standing up here whilst I'm cooking and it makes my life so much easier when I've got a carrot in your hair but there's a lot of chopping to be done for tonight's dinner and my friends aren't arriving until about 5 30 so I want to prep that because then it will make life easier for me later. I need to wash the leeks. Do you want to sit down with that? Do you want to sit on the sofa? No you want to stay here? Okay. Do you want some more grapes? No. No? He took all the socks off the line and put them on this chair. And then I just asked him to go and hang them back up again. And look at him. Oh, such a good little baby. Right, all of my veg is prepped, which means that when our friends get here, all I have to do is cook it and they'll be watching Rowan. So that will be much easier. But it has been 24 hours because it's five o'clock now. So thank you for joining me on this 24 hours with an 18 month old. <laughs> Genuinely love this age so much. He's so fun and playful and communicative and it's just great. I'm gonna now, okay, as I was saying, I'm gonna now play Lego <laughs> with this child before any more disasters occur. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Skin and Me, for sponsoring. And maybe I'll see you in another one of these videos soon. Bye. Mm. What do you want? Mm. What do you want? Mm. What do you want? Mm. Say it. Please. What do you want to watch? Teletubbies. <laughs> Choo choo. Choo choo or Teletubbies? <laughs> or Bluey? What do you want to watch? Baby. Baby? What about Lego? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna build some crazy towers. <laughs>